Monica, this snow is sticky, it is wet, it is heavy, it is sticking to roads, making the conditions on the roads really tough, really slippery. And as we were driving around tonight, it was completely black. All of those homes in the dark. Heavy wet snow bringing down trees and power lines. We've seen cust customers have seen impacts um, really in, in areas across the state, uh, particularly um, the entire southern half of the state. William Hinkle with Eversource says it's going to be a multiple day restoration event. And if winds intensify, more outages are likely. When it comes to long duration storms like this one, Hinkle says there's a rotation of crews working to get the lights back on. One of the major behind the scenes efforts that takes place preparing for a storm like this is the logistics that goes into ensuring um, lodging and meals and food for uh, the external out-of-state crews that come in to support. Hinkle says the plan is to start restorations affecting the most customers. Then they'll pivot to spots that are more time intensive to repair. The outage number does not come down as quickly, obviously, when you're spending several hours uh, restoring a single customer. If you're without power, Hinkle says to report it. If you're using a generator, he says to make sure it's far enough from your house so exhaust doesn't get inside. If you are still without power, Hinkle says that should return tonight or at some point tomorrow. For Live and Dairy, Grace Feinerman, WMUR News 9.